It's been nearly a year since this crosswalk was removed from a dangerous intersection in the Ward and Kaka'ako areas. Now lawmakers say a plan is in motion to make it safer. Jen Beniza follows up. Residents are happy to hear that there now is a plan to make crossing Queen Street from Waimano Street a little safer to come here to Kolawalu Park. But the downside is it could still take up to six months. This is the problem. A five-lane stretch of road with a blacked-out crosswalk that many families use to get to this popular park. It's very dangerous. Like, uh, sometimes a lot of cars coming in and they don't even stop. Every day is kind of like, um, try your luck to cross. You have to dance across it to make it through. And when you have really small children, it's uh, very risky. Karen Chung lives in the area. She says there have been far too many close calls. An accident would be devastating. She and several other Kaka'ako residents have been fighting for a way to make it safer since the city painted over the marked crosswalk almost a year ago. Saturday morning, lawmakers unveiled a two phased plan. This is the initial phase. The crosswalk will be repainted, there will be a pedestrian. <laughs> refuge center uh, in between the lanes and then also these um, stanchions will be set up the warnings the warning signs the second involves adding a flashing beacon system similar to the one near whole foods just a block away psyche says they are securing up to one million dollars to pay for the second phase the hawaii community development authority is paying for phase one with public facility funds Knowing that action will be taken is a relief to those like Jonathan Louis Kwan and his son Kaimana, who visit the park all the time. Do you use that crosswalk? Yes, we do, right? Everyone does. Yeah, everyone uses it a lot, that's right. And now that they're going to have the crosswalk there, do you think it's going to be a lot safer? Yes. The process is underway, but it will still take some time. We're giving ourselves. Um, you know, six months to get it, but we're hoping we can do it sooner. To be honest, I'm a bit worried. I mean, I still have to cross this today, tomorrow, every day until it's done. I'd rather have it six months or it never happened. I'll take the six months. Nakamoto says they will do all they can to make the changes as soon as possible. We look forward to crossing in a safe way. <laughs> Jen Boniza, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.